Yoga is a program that we utilize here at The Learning Tree, and we are so excited to create this video to share all of our favorite tips and tricks and the benefits that come with engaging in yoga. So maybe you can try it at home with your child after seeing this. We use yoga all day long in our classrooms. You'll see it throughout our entire daily routine, and we love implementing it in our virtual learning process also. So we cannot wait for you to see this video and to learn all about our yoga program. Yeah, that's right. One of the reasons why we are so passionate about doing yoga with children is because they have so many areas of development and benefits for your child. So it can help them develop cognitively and really help them center their mind, put them at ease, connect their body to a movement. And it also helps develop them physically when it works on balance and stretching and moving and body awareness. It really helps those gross motor skills and those movements going forward. It also helps them in the area of emotional development. So children can de-stress by doing yoga, calm their body, calm their mind, and really be at peace. Along with all of those benefits, we want to share our favorite tips that we have learned in the classroom and think might help you at home. One of those tips is to find yourself a yoga area. Find a comfortable area that when your child goes there, they know they're going to engage in a fun yoga time with you. Another tip is to bring your water. We know how much your kiddos love to bring their water cups, so bring that water over to stay hydrated. Another huge tip that we have learned is music helps during this too. Whether you're doing quiet and relaxing yoga, so maybe you have rainforest sounds or rain sounds, or maybe you're doing fun, upbeat, moving yoga and you have fast-paced music, having that set the tone in the scene during the yoga really helps engage your child's interest. And last, just have fun. We love doing yoga with your children and have so much fun doing it. And we are confident that you can have just as much fun doing it at home with the family. So we include yoga throughout our daily routine at school and part of routines is consistency. And so we thought it would be fun to start our yoga the same way every time. So when you start your yoga with your child at home, you can do it the same way too. And then they'll know, hey, this is yoga time. All right, so is what we'll do is we join our hands together at our hearts and we take a deep breath in through our nose and we smell the flowers and then blow out your birthday candles and then say the yoga code word namaste you can do this at the beginning of your yoga movement and at the end of your yoga movement to really bring it full circle together so with this parent resource video, we have broken down the entire yoga program for you. There are different categories of yoga that you'll get to learn about. There's standing yoga, sitting yoga, animal yoga, breathing yoga. All of it is an absolute blast and we are so happy to share all of those different movements with you. What will be included in those videos is a picture of the card showing you the yoga move and then we will be showing you how to do the move in each video. So like we've said, we have so much fun doing yoga with your child and we hope you enjoy it at home with them too. For this series, we will be using our feet to stand tall and moving our arms while we complete each yoga move. As we do each yoga move, we are going to count to five together. The benefits of standing yoga is it teaches our body how to be stable while standing and also teaches our body strength too. The first yoga move that we will be doing is called the mountain pose. For the mountain pose, we're going to need to get our feet centered together. So make sure your feet are touching. We're going to put both our arms down by our side and then we are going to lift our hands up and meet them in the middle by our heart. One, two, three, four, five. For our next yoga move, we are going to do the triangle pose. For the triangle pose, you are going to take your legs and put them apart. You're going to turn your left foot out. You're going to put your arms out wide to the side of you. And then you're going to lean your body down and try to touch your toes with your left arm while your 
right arm is in the air and you can turn and look. One, two, three, four, five. Our next yoga pose is called the gorilla pose. For the gorilla pose, we're going to take our legs and spread them apart. We're going to bend our knees down like this. And then we're going to move our arms to the side and make a circle connecting your hands in the middle. And just like a gorilla would, we are going to swing our arms back and forth. One, two, three, four, five. Our next pose is called the warrior one pose. For this, we are going to take our left leg and put it way out in front of us like this. And we're going to bend our leg down and touch the ground down here. And then once you have your balance this way, you're going to bend your other knee and lift your arm straight up in the air. One, two, three, four, five. Our last standing pose we will be learning is called the warrior two pose. For this pose, you are going to put your feet spread apart like this. You're going to take your left foot and put it out and then take your right foot and put it in. We're going to take our arms out and stretch them wide. And then we're going to bend our left leg over to the side. One, two, three, Four, five. When we balance, it helps our body stay aligned and poised. It not only is going to help us balance our bodies, but also our minds. I want you to try these yoga poses out with me, and then later you can count and see how long you can hold the balancing poses for. Our first balancing yoga pose is called Dancer. For Dancer, you're gonna turn your body to the side. You are gonna reach back and grab one foot with your hand. Reach your other arm in the air. Our next yoga pose is called arrow. For arrow, you are going to kneel down on the ground, move to the center of your mat. You're going to put one hand up on the floor, one leg out and one arm up. Once you've got that balanced, you're going to add your other foot to it. And once you're there, you're going to put your foot up like a bow and arrow. Our next yoga pose is called boat. You're going to sit down on the ground. Put your legs out in front of you. You're going to reach your hands off back. Scooch up if you're falling off your mat. Put your legs in the air. And once you're stable there, you're going to add your arm. Straight out in front. Our next yoga pose is called blank. You're going to turn 
turn to the side. You're gonna put your hands down on your mat. You're gonna reach your feet out. And you're gonna hold that. moves and then maybe see how long you can hold them in each pose. 